Morning all you marvelous marauders. It's Tuesday, April 3rd, and I hope you're having a great day. It's about oh, just a little after eight o'clock, just about a mile into it today. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. Got about 14 miles planned for today, coming up just shy of hot springs which allow me to do a, a Nero in tomorrow and then a zero the day after. Had a really good night's sleep last night. It was great to be back in the hammock. Camp got a little bit crowded towards the end of the day, but uh, I had a uh, pretty, pretty peaceful dreams. Yesterday was an incredible day. A lot of tough up hills. And if anybody's doing that route to Max Patch, I do warn you, Keep close eye on water as there's not a lot of sources as you get uh, close and there's uh, those last couple inclines are, are tough. But that said, Max Patch itself is something that's gonna be burned into my memory and mind for a very long time to come. It was just beautiful. And I feel incredibly grateful to both have the weather hold off to afford me those magnificent views, but also to have a couple minutes up there all by myself. I understand that can be a bit of a, a rarity. I'm feeling good today, the body feels strong. We're in no real rush, so just gonna kind of take it at a good pace, but uh, not looking to set any records. Stop a few breaks along the way. I do think there's a couple good climbs today and then a, a downhill into hot springs. So, should be a good day. Welcome to my hikeification. Today we're starting at Roaring Fork Shelter at mile 256 and ending our day at Deer Park Mountain Shelter at mile 271.3. So about 15 miles today with a little bit of both ups and downs. We start with a gradual descent coming down and then followed by a fairly steep uphill just shy of Walnut Mountain Shelter over the top of Walnut Mountain Shelter come down with a relatively steep downhill and then a hard climb all the way up to the top of Bluff Mountain. Following Bluff Mountain, it should be a fairly easy long descent all the way down uh, to finish off the day with a little bit of an uphill right at the very end before that final push downhill for the shelter for the night. 15 miles, we should get there around. We're about three miles in. It's been a nice little walk this morning. The trail has been pretty smooth. Some gradual ups and downs, but nothing too, uh, too significant. So I would say this morning has been marked with just a lot of little stream crossings. And every now and again, you come across one of these uh, cool bridges. Day. Looks like there would have been a nice stealth campsite for those that didn't want to stay by the shelter. Imagine I probably got a bit of use last night. Ooh, a little bit of wind.
So just getting up and over the first of the two more prominent climbs today. The second's definitely a little bit bigger. But I'm always intrigued by these balds that are at the top of these mountains. I'm sure there's a logical explanation for them. But nature does do some cool things. Oh. Starting to get warm out today. So we're coming to that first shelter for the day that we are going to walk right on past. Glad we didn't actually push over to this campsite. The shelter looks a little more riggedy <laughs> and maybe a few less places to uh, set up camp. Looks like everybody's vacated early though. So I've been uh, thinking about miles and the toll it plays on the body through the course of the day. Kind of using my new benchmark of 16 miles as a point of reference. Those first four miles, I actually feel great. You start off a little bit stiff, but within the half mile, you've got all the kinks worked out. Mile five and six, I start to get these intermittent tweaks in different areas. Maybe it's the ankle, maybe the knee if it's a bit of a downhill. Could be the shoulders, could be the calves. Nothing causing concern and nothing persistent, but just something that kind of jumps in every now and again. And you only, uh, you only really notice it if you think about it and you're paying attention. Between miles six and eight, I would say a little bit of fatigue starts to set in depending on the train during the day. And I definitely get a little bit more persistent soreness, most likely in the shoulders. I find I'm not carrying the weight quite as well as I should be. And maybe a little rubbing on the, the hips where the backpack's attached. The, uh, the feet though, by and large, are good. The Achilles may um, be flare up a little bit, and so you may notice those. Eight and 10, my heels really start to get sore. They become kind of a more persistent and, and prominent soreness that doesn't, uh, doesn't go away. Not like pain, but you definitely notice it. And then probably in some of that point, I've taken a break. And when I start going again, it's pretty slow. Even just sitting down for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, things stiffen up. So it takes a little bit to loosen up. Between mile 10 and 12, I would say my, my Achilles really start to kind of flare up a little bit more. Um, so between them and the heels, that's the, the prominent pains. And then between kind of 12 to 16, <laughs> it's an overarching soreness coupled with a little bit of exhaustion. By 16, I'm ready to shed the backpack and get those shoes off. Ironically, the knees only come into play. Well, it's not ironic, I guess. The knees only come into play if there has been some steeper, steeper downhills. But I find it interesting that it is almost like clockwork. I can tell how far I've gone on a given day by what hurts and the intensity of that pain. Okay, P 
pain, pain is a bit of a misnomer because I'm actually very pleasantly surprised. Nothing is really interrupting my, my hiking cadence. I'm not in pain anywhere where I'm trying to compensate by, by more gently stepping on one foot versus the other or leading with the right leg always instead of the left. So it is just more a, a persistency of soreness that permeates across the body. We'll see if that changes or becomes a bit more elongated as I start taking on bigger miles. I would say I probably saw the same sequence in the early days, only you hit it all by mile 10. So I think that's a good news story. Lovely day. Just made it to the top of the second climb and right at the top is this wicked camp spot. If anybody's inclined to map this direction, this would be really cool to stealth camp. There's been a lot of down for the last few miles. That's Big Rock Spring. I'm assuming because of the Big Rock. You can see, it's just a lot of down ahead of us. The trail though has been superb. Nice and smooth and flat. You know, the ups and downs aren't that bad. Nice casual stroll today. See that mountain way in the background. Went up and over that this morning. So we've had a fair bit of downhill. So we've got about two miles until I hit the shelter. And it's going to be about three and a half, four miles in the hot springs tomorrow morning. It has definitely turned into a warm one. Ugh. If I'm uh, sweating through shirts now, I can only imagine what it's going to be like when we hit the real, when we hit the real heat in the summer. <sighs> no service all day. And unfortunately, I've been a little bit behind in uploading videos. And so the next video, which was actually supposed to drop today, has not been uploaded yet, so there may be a slight separation between, I don't know, day 16 and day 17. At least by a day. Unless we miraculously get service in the next uh, couple miles. But luckily, tomorrow hot springs, I've got about seven or eight videos ready to go. I'll just upload them all over the course of the next day and a half. And that'll put me scheduled out for the next little while. for tonight. It's all 
about the search for the perfect trees. I think these two look like candidates. Let's check it out. Okay, let's do the wrap up for the day. We're here at Deer Park Shelter at mile 271. Got in about 15 miles today. It was a bit of a hot one. The sun came out. I would say the temperatures were definitely in the 70s if I'm doing my Celsius to Fahrenheit conversion correctly. Uh, so didn't break any speed records. Probably managed to do about two miles per, per hour. Kind of a, just a real gradual stroll hike uh, through the course of the day. The uphills were gentle. The downhills were the same. A lot of downhills today um, and tomorrow we've got another three miles of it to get into hot springs. Uh, a few people at the shelter tonight, maybe eight or ten. I imagine the majority of people though do hike through to get into hot springs this evening. I'm pretty comfortable though with my Nero Zero plan. Uh, I think that will fit my physical as well as mental needs uh, the best. So looking forward to a good night's sleep in the hammock. No rush in the morning. It's supposed to be a kind of a chilly, rainy day tomorrow. So uh, I'll have a good breakfast, hike into Hot Springs, grab a second breakfast, and then find out where my accommodation is. So all told, 15 miles today. Body feels really good. Um, it was tired towards the end of it. I think the 1615 is probably about where my comfort level is. I am looking forward to starting to push a little bit bigger miles following this little rest break in hot springs. Uh, we'll see if that pushes 20 or not. Uh, all, will all depend on kind of how far we are in the day. Anyway, that's about all there is for today. Really just a normal day. Um, good day. Uh, nothing, no spectacular views, but uh, we'll always get you those when uh, when we see them. Till next time, hike on.